Okay, let's continue with this tutorial. Um, we'll go back to the watch clock. We can actually replace this and uh, turn off that. And um, uh, we'll create a next method, which will be the minute line, <coughs> uh, the minute line method. So let's create it right after the hour line and. Uh, a public minute um, uh, line. I can just copy this. Uh, this one. Ah. And uh, area for the parameter, and we'll just copy this into the next, and we'll have to change a few things. So it will draw in a different position, and uh, this will be a little bit longer line, the minute line. So it's minus ninety, and uh, <coughs> it will. We can. I don't know. We can, I guess we can increase this. Or... By the way, the hour line can be uh, a little thicker, so give it an eight. And, uh, we can uh, make it also a little red, I guess. Let's make it five here and uh, one here and one here, like 0 0.5, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. And that will be some sort of red color. Uh, uh, <coughs> and uh, the next one will have to create a um, uh, another double method for the calculation of the minute uh, radian so we'll just uh, do it right after the other double so double uh, cal calculate minute uh, radians and, uh, and create a double radian we can just uh, copy this one and, uh, and in this case the radian will be um, one in uh, one in 60 so what we'll have is one radian times and then we'll have to calculate how much is 1 divided by 60 and that's the number 0 0.01666 and uh, then create it here and that's uh, pa paste it here I mean, I mean change this to point uh, uh, and then times how many minutes is in the that current moment uh, and we'll just make a return of that radian amount and uh, calculate minute radians oops one too many okay um, so <coughs> uh, now uh, we'll just call this clock uh, minute line and then drawing gpk window and we'll test this out and there we go look at that i think the minute line is a little bit too i'm sorry the hour line <laughs> i'm getting confused uh, is a little bit too uh, too too long I think let's make it let's make it 60 I think that's better yeah uh, by the way we we'll make this to none just to see because this looks a little bit weird well let, let's have it like this for the moment um, 
so it doesn't have any anti-aliasing uh, anti uh, so we create the next uh, seconds line so create a public void seconds line uh, just copy this in and create the method and again we can just copy this one from the minute line and we'll um, uh, create the uh, rotation proper rotation for the for the seconds line with another double method Oops. double calculate seconds second radians and oops that's it um, second radians okay uh, we can just take uh, where is it there we can take this one this methods code and just copy it into the second uh, radians and then what we need to change it is this uh, and of course uh, this will have to be second because that's what we want and actually that's the same amount because it's 1 in 60 just like 1 in 60 here in, in, in one uh, minute it's 60 seconds and in, in one hour it's 60 minutes so that's what we're calculating uh, and of course we have to appoint it don't forget this so you don't don't get the wrong uh, method here calculate seconds method uh, double um, so now uh, yeah right we have to call it also clock uh, second line drawing uh, second line drawing gdk window and uh, I'll just check that everything seems fine uh, yeah right uh, I have to also clear the drawing uh, so it clears it every time it has to redraw everything uh, clear the window and just draw a new line otherwise it won't be uh, creating you see now it's going forward and uh, we have to see that it's correct on the label so we have to give the label that we created label one uh, text and take date time now to str oops I'm sorry now to string and in this oops in this string we'll appoint that it's going to be the uh, 24 hour system with minutes and with seconds and uh, that's about it and that's how it goes 20 hour that's 8 at the 8 8 p.m. in America and uh, 11th minute and you see the 46 47 48 and 50 here yes and uh, that's what it is if I hadn't included this clear method here it will just continue drawing it on over and over again you see and uh, that's not exactly what we want so you would want to include the clear and the wonderful thing about uh, Cairo is uh, uh, I could actually make it much smaller uh, seconds to I think two is good enough yeah it's that's fine I could also turn the anti-aliasing back and, and this is also the universal th stuff you you only have to change once you don't have to go back and change everywhere now you just change the, the default here and it's gonna apply to all the vectors uh, in the, in the 
you see, and all, it's, it's going to be apply in all the uh, of the vectors of, of all the methods that are called for the for drawing the the vectors. Uh, and uh, the wonderful thing about Cairo, it doesn't seem to have any flickering pro problems that are uh, sadly in uh, in the uh, in this in the .NET framework for Windows uh, system. So uh, I really like uh, a lot of the drawing, uh, like ro rotating, and you don't have to do a lot of stuff with. You don't have to do a lot of math to do create a sort of a rotation like you have to in, in system. I don't know. I don't know if it has a rotate method, but uh, I remember having to do a lot of math dot sin and cos and all that uh, in order to get the proper rotation. But um, Cairo is really great. Uh, uh, it is uh, for the GPL. I think it's the lesser GPL, so you have to check out what type of. Uh, licensing you will need in order to to uh, use it in your you know system so but um, anyway uh, this was a t the last video of the tutorial and I hope you learned something and um, uh, not not much else to say you can just maybe you can uh, try to add numbers here or something add more lines say, with more methods and uh, just just experiment um, that's it <laughs>